What's happening Hardscapers today? I want to talk to you about the Mosier 2 Pro. Let's get into this. This is a measuring device and it is amazing. I have had my eyes on one of these for quite some time now, probably like the past two years. And Mosier reached out and wanted to sponsor the How to Hardscape podcast as well as this video here that I'm going to be talking about it. So big thank you to Mosier. And I'm just going to go over some of the use cases for this in my hardscaping business and how this has really changed my estimating process. And I'm going to have a link in the description below if you want to purchase this. Now if you remember on this channel last year I did a project where I lost $7,500 on an excavation alone and that was specifically because I run rushed the consultation, did not feel so good about it, and did not take my elevations correctly because I didn't want to get out my equipment, spend that time to do it, and really I didn't factor into the slope of the yard, which we would be digging down quite a bit, and that led to a lot more excavation than I initially actually realized. Now I've got a device that's going to save me time on estimates, and no matter what, I have no excuse not to take those measurements now, especially since it's so compact and I can take it on any consultation, no problem. The way this thing works is you put it into the Mosier stick, turn it on by giving it a couple of twists in the air, the light comes on, then you can connect to the Mosier app, choose a shape that you're going to be measuring. In my case, most of the time it's a closed shape because we're doing some sort of patio. Starting at a start point, placing it down, and then moving it from spot to spot based on what the app tells you. Trying to stay in that green zone, beginning of that amber zone, but not in that red zone. So as you start to approach that amber zone, place it, let it take its measurement, and then move to the next one. Now in the case of the current project I'm on, this has been extremely helpful because I need to, not only in the estimate, the consultation with the client, take my measurements of such an odd shaped patio walkway area, but also for drainage purposes, know where I'm going to put that water. And in this case, I need to know the rise and run of my starting point near the gate to my ending point where we're going to be directing the water to. And with this, it was incredibly simple. And then in addition to that, I've got my measurements of my area, which I can put a quote together quite simply from. We want to be as high as we can on this gate without, if it was to heave, impeding this from opening. And that's going to give us a slope down to that far corner there. So really this Mosher 2 Pro saved me a lot of time and effort in that initial estimate just to make sure that we could actually do this project, but also gave me my square footage. And like I said, that rise and run to make sure that we can exit that water where we need to for this project. In order to see that rise and fall of the project, simply hit the cross section of a certain point and pick your points to be able to see what that rise and fall is. It's awesome how easy it is to use for that. This saved me so much time in that process and being able to have an accurate measurement for that. Rather than getting out a rotary laser level and taking grade and then taking measurements of the entire area, I just need this device. Also great for pool surrounds, taking measurements, elevations, but also adding a layer and being able to plot that pool within my perimeter of that yard or patio space to be able to know how much coping linear footage I would need for that project. And in that case, it's just a matter of taking the perimeter of that yard, 
adding a layer and then doing a tracing of that pool patio with that Mosher device. And in addition to that, I can then use that to port into my design software to then start to create a design using this device and using the information that it gives me. I simply export it in a file format that works with my design software and import it into my design software and I've got all of that terrain elevation already mapped out and ready to design for. There's so many more features with this that I still need to dig into like the cut and fill feature. In this particular project that I'm showing here with the Mosier 2 Pro we actually have an area that we want to flatten out. So with that cut fill feature, I see how much material I would need to actually fill that area to a certain zero point or how much I would need to cut a certain area to get to a zero point. And that would have been extremely helpful with that project that I lost that $7,500 on in that excavation. And really, I'm just getting to the surface level of this thing. And even that's super helpful. And now I just need to learn more and more about it to be able to utilize it to its maximum. That being said, it is not something that you would purchase and then take it to your first consultation to learn how to use it. There is a lot to know for this thing. So it's a good thing that Mosher has all the content that they do and all the tutorials that they have that I'm gonna link below just for you to learn more about how to use this because they're incredibly useful. And I highly suggest that you take a minute to watch Watch them maybe put it into practice before going out to your first consultation because you don't want to be fumbling around with this thing in front of your client another thing I'd like for them to do is to make this housing a little bit more bulky a little bit more heavy so that when you're placing it in tall grass it goes right through that tall grass and into the bottom of it but it's such a minor detail and you can really get around it for sure and I'm sure that presents problems with them with this plastic housing perhaps not being flexible enough for you to get this Mosher device inside of it. So I recognize that that might not even be a great solution. The battery life is great on this. I don't know how many hours exactly you get out of it, but it does shut itself off, which is a good thing because I would never remember to actually shut it off myself and it saves that power. There's a charging USB-C, quite simple. And I'm gonna have a link in the description below if this is something that you're looking at purchasing, you do save a little bit of money on it and there'll also be a promo code there for you. But hey, that's my thoughts on the Mosher 2 Pro so far. If you found this video helpful please give it a like comment below any questions that you may have and subscribe to this youtube channel for more hearts gaming content like this thank you so much for watching